Good morning, everyone. This is Sunday, the 25th of November here. Barry Veer with you on the final Sunday morning wrap. And I have not had my, this outsider in the studio for a long time now. The last time we did a video was in... 2016, I think. Wow, so, that long. That long. Wow, and well, thanks for having me back in the studio. Uh, yeah, and now you all know the, uh, the, the game 20 questions. So that, that's it. So <laughs> that is a good game, this, and you can. Pick that up at your local toy shop now. All right, are you ready? I'm just... Okay, now, before we get into the questions, I'd like to thank you viewers for tuning in to my videos this year, and I hope that you all have a safe and wonderful Christmas, and I will say this message again at the end of the show. Now on with the questions. Okay, Barry, number one, what is your favourite colour? Well, Olivia, my favourite colour is pink. Okay, number two, what is your favourite meal? My favourite meal would have to be steak and kidney pie and I do love the, the occasional pizza and chicken schnitzel okay. uh, and the roast dinner on a Sunday night. Lots of, good, lots of good options there then Barry. Moving on to number three, what is your best childhood memory? Well my best childhood memory Olivia would have to be Flying down to Sydney in a four and, and meeting the airline pilot. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favourite TV show? Well, you weren't around when it was out, but it would have to be Prisoner, Prisoner Cell Block. Okay. okay. Um, 2019, any New Year's resolutions? Well, try not to be sick, eat the right things, drink the right things, mm -hmm. and have a good attitude. Very, very true, Barry. I agree. Number six, what is your dream holiday destination? Well, to my home town in Brisbane. Mm -hmm. Number seven, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, my superpower would be to fly a helicopter, but it One. would be a bit of a tricky situation, mm -hmm. I think. Moving on to number eight, if you could be any animal, what would you be? A dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> okay, number nine. What is your favourite season and why? Well, summer, well, it's the day where I don't have to put jumpers on and take them off mm -hmm. and, and wear hats and a good, uh, <laughs> comfortable t-shirt. Yeah. Something that won't make me sweat. And my sandals, of course. Yes, definitely. All right. What is your least favourite food? My least favourite food would have had to be sandwiches. Okay. Um, what is your favourite movie? Home Alone. Oh, yeah. What? The first one? The first one. Yeah. Are you usually early or late? Well, we uh, both. Early and late. Okay. What is your most annoying question people ask you? How 
how I might be on all, all the time. Okay. Um, number 14, what's the best way to start the day? With a good breakfast and a good attitude. Good one. Number 15, what book are you currently reading? Um, the Sacred Salmon at the moment. Number 16, if you could change your name, what would it be? Trent. Pet hates? Something uh, that annoys you? A um, Something that cracks on the car card and and eats and and eats a team by my pa, um, pa, parents. Oh, okay, yep. Or uh, um, cockatoos. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Um, what are three words you would use to describe yourself? Uh, happy. The white ball and count. Yeah, I agree. Uh, number 19, do you prefer dogs or cats? Both. Mm -hmm. um, and number 20, are you a morning or a night person? Both. Okay, good answers. Sorry, how do you spell you? And here are some questions that I would like to uh, ask you. Okay. Question one. Mm -hmm. What has been the most exciting highlight for you this year? Um, probably going away to the USA for my 21st birthday in March. And question two. What annoys the crap? out of you and why? Um, I get really annoyed when I can't sleep at night and you know you want to go to bed but you can't. And what is the most annoying question that people ask you all the time whether it's a hair of work or out of work? What is the most annoying thing? I don't know. I don't think I have an annoying question I get asked all the time. Question four. Here's another question. Mm -hmm. What is the most exciting thing that you would like to do in 2019? Um, I'd like to jump out of an aeroplane. And where would you jump out of that aeroplane? I think they do it in Gosford, don't they? <laughs> they would do, yes. Yeah, Gosford. And two more questions, Olivia. What is your favourite food? I'm going to say like a, a chicken and mushroom risotto. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Mm. And the final, just a couple of more questions. Yes, yes. Here. How long have you been working at Oceana and what has been the most exciting highlight of your career? Okay, I've been at Oceana just a bit over two years. Um, um, there's been a few good highlights, obviously getting a good rapport with a lot of you guys and you know getting to go to Midnight Oil concert was awesome and also this year the Oceana party was heaps of fun. And what what other highlights have you enjoyed at Oceana? Can you give the viewers a bit more of an insight? Um, I like when we do the spontaneous barbecues for lunch, the sausage sizzles, um, just having a laugh in general with everyone, bit of a sing along at dinner time when, when you break out in a song, Baz. That's that's always a good time for everyone. And um, what has been the low light? Mm -hmm. Low light, maybe 
Sometimes it's really hard to get up in the morning at five o'clock. Sometimes I'm a bit tired and I have to persevere and get myself up out of bed on time. Well, here's another uh, thing I forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. Um, when you were asking the questions and the answers in this, yeah. uh, my biggest highlight was getting this new computer yes. and able to to do the programs and put the videos up on YouTube, which I can now do without any assistance at yeah, all. Good, Barry. And the big highlight was going to um, the new hospital twice mm. to have a look. Mm. And I can tell you that the hospital looks good, but I don't want to be, be up there unless I really can something do like an appointment or or something like that okay well that is the end of the last sunday morning wrap and um, for mid this year and the topic that i always bring up on the show is save triple zero for saving lives mm -hmm. and i'm sure my my offside would like to agree on this definitely barry it's a very important conversation to be had with your friends and family make sure triple zero is only called for emergencies and and just um making news uh today before we do say good morning to our viewers for the final time is take it easy on those roads mm. especially as it is coming towards christmas we we know that you like to go away and travel around australia for christmas but please everyone take it easy after uh, a man was k k killed in Vic Vic Victoria and another was critically injured mm. in Victoria. So please, we know it's a negative subject, but you only have the one life, everybody, and here's my offsider. Yeah, I agree, Barry. Very good points. You only have one life, so look after yourself and each other. And and if you are tired on the road, builds, pull over and let the other person do the driving. Mm -hmm. We we often do say this on the show, and please do not use your mobile phone mm. and drive and text because that's how fatal accidents do happen on our roads so stop it or cop it and this is where i'd like to end my final sunday morning wrap and thank you olivia for joining me on the on the show today and 20 questions were good and have you got any new year's resolutions before we close the, the program um no nothing major just similar to what you be happy and healthy and live a positive life and i'm excited to see what 2019 brings for us all so just before i say farewell to you for um the 25th of November, on behalf of my family to yours, we wish you the best of happiness and health for the last month of 2018 and hope that 2019 brings you the best of health and happiness. And here is a quote that 
I would like to leave you with this morning your job, your attitude determines how well you do a job and how committed you are to, in doing your job. And if you start something, you finish it. And if you say you're going to do something, do something earlier rather than later. And that's where I'd like to say keep smiling, have a Merry Christmas, and keep your positive mental attitude up. Mm -hmm. And don't get angry with anybody for no reason. We all get frustrated. We have our bad days. Mm -hmm. But there is no need to cry over little things. Sort it out with the person. And then if that doesn't work, speak to your site manager. Have a meeting with them and and work out how to deal with the problem. And this is called resolving the problems mm. appropriately. So that is all I've got time for on the final Sunday morning wrap. You take care. Have a Merry Christmas. And my first Sunday rap will be on the 5th of January, the 6th of January. So the day before we go back to work and the summer series kicks off uh, yes. on Saturday the 1st of December. So I do hope that you will join me for that straight after the last Friday rap this year and my first Friday rap will be on January the 4th and that's that Friday a couple of days after New Year's Day so have a great rest of Sunday everybody and you take care on those roads Leave triple zero for emergencies. Don't be a fool with that number because you are putting someone at risk. And again, my offside and leave you now with that message. Yes, very, very important. I agree with you. And um, thank you again for having me on the show. I feel very blessed to be on the last Sunday wrap. So and, bye, everyone. And goodbye from. Olivia and I, and we do look forward to, ch to chatting with you uh, next year and during the summer months. So, slip, slop, and slap. And remember, positive mental attitude. Bye-bye, everyone, and Merry Christmas from all from the last Sunday morning lab. Take care everyone. Bye bye. bye.